This video is sponsored by ScanFactory.io. ScanFactory.io is a platform for continuous security monitoring that enumerates and extensively scans your infrastructure using 15 of the most trustworthy community-backed security tools. They also have some pretty cool open source projects as well, like this one, Bob County Recon Dataset. It is a dataset of all the programs available on a public Bob County platform. And recently they have added this screenshot dataset as well. So you click on screenshot, then click on any domain. And these are all the subdomains of that domain. And if you click on one of them, you will, you will be able to see the screenshot of that subdomain. And another tool they have is this exploit search utility. You just need to click on search button, enter your CV and press enter. And you will be able to find all the links which are available for that exploit of that CV, which are publicly known. So this makes your life easy <laughs> for searching the exploit. So I will share all the links in the description. So definitely check it out. Welcome back everyone. So uh, we are back with a new video and today we have a very uh, special guest with us. He's a legend in open source community. Uh, you might know, know his tool, Go Spider, uh, then Cosmedius, the one which we are going to discuss today. Uh, then other one, Meta Bigor, and another one, Jelisken, right? Jelisken, I have not yes. pronounced this correctly. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, AO, for uh, doing this interview. And uh, before we start, uh, can you introduce yourself for those people who don't know you? Little yep. Uh, sure. Hi, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jesse. My real name is I hope, but most of people call me Jesse. And uh, I, uh, I, I'm currently working as a senior application security in uh, a commerce platform. Uh, besides that, I'm also doing web parties and I write a bunch of tools to, to doing web parties. So I publish this for the community to, to use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so today I will introduce one of the, the framework for recognition, which is first media. It is the uh, next generation. So it's way better than, than, than before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was using the first version and uh, it was really mm. nice and very comprehensive, compact, everything with lots of features. Mm. So, the newer version, I'm uh, excited to see all the features. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. uh, one question that I might ask, like, uh, how did you came up with the name Jesse? Like, you know, yeah, you yeah uh, that's a fun one because I usually watch a ton of, ton of movies and TV series. And I get inspired a lot from some of the, the character name and some of the villain name. And I change mm -hmm. one character in some of the, the so one letter in some of character that I got my tool name. Yes, uh, where mm -hmm. I inspired from. Yeah. Okay, so uh, lots of tool names also come from those series. Yeah, from movies and TV mm -hmm. show that I watch. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's uh, let's start our session. Okay, sure. Uh, let me start first. Uh, today okay. I will introduce you guys a uh, uh, next generation of first media, and it's focusing on allow you to build your own recognition system. So before we start, I would like to introduce a bit about myself first. Uh, I'm a hacker and uh, a bit uh, developer combined. And uh, I'm the author of some of the, the popular tools, popular projects. And I also use some of my tools to uh, uh, file a security issue in um, some of the very big company. Uh, you can see here is so the big name that uh, media has already found the uh, security issue in it of uh, vulnerability. Uh, so let me go with the agenda for today first. First of all, we will talk about why we, we need this media as a recognition framework and what is the architect of this media and uh, what is a premium package that I offer for some of my patrons and the one that support, financially su supporting me 
And lastly, we will have some demo, some video and some live demo too. I will show you how to write your own custom workflow in Smita. Yeah. So we have, uh, first of all, we have a problem with recognition. You can see here, there's too much repeated, re repetitive manual work and a lot of uh, tools. They, they have different output. So in your recon process, you might want to use a lot of tools for a lot of purpose. And all of them is use all different output formats. So you need to find some way to unify them and sort them and like unique the, the let's say unique the subdomain and you want to filter something and a lot of that you can do it by simple password or I mean you can do but very hard to do and it's not that very clear. Uh, I have some some typo here, but <laughs> don't forget about that. Uh, yeah, so that's the, the main reason I have for, for creating the speeders. So first of all, I, I I get inspired from the the the, the, the Mark Hunter methodology from Jason Hedix, and I want to to implement it uh, in Bass, but it gets very hard. That's why I changed it to Python. Then the next generation, I write it in Golang. So the main objectives of uh, us media, what it's trying to achieve is it will significantly speed up your recon process and it will organize your scan result too. So you can just run one command, then all the results will show for you in one order that I call it workspace. You can easily integrate with any other tool out there in public in your even your, your private tools and you allow you to, to easily scale across large number of, of targets. And it also supports you to synchronize the result the result across many places if you're using the, the JIT, um, JIT storage feature. And uh, it also supports the distributed scan, which means you, you can uh, scan with some of the, the cloud provider. You can spin up some, let's say you, you want to scan three targets and you can spin up three uh, VPS to, to scan them and it will automatically sync up to, to one machine. So that a special feature I have for the, uh, the premium package. Uh, here you can see a, a little comparison to the old version. So the old version written in Python, and the new one is written in Go, and it has a lot uh, better and faster, to, of course, and cleaner and easier to, to use. Too. So it just has one binary and a ton of YAML files. Oh, here you can see the, the, the overview of Smedias. Uh, first of all, I have a call engine, which is written in Nolan, and it's it built in one single binary, so easy, very easy to, to install. And it will be responsible for handling all the complex logic that you've written in, in YAML. It, it also has some built-in utility for you to, to easier to uh, Clean up your 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 your, your output. So let's say you you scan with AMS, or you scan with raw scan with mass DNS and all and math, and it have all the built in function where you can easily call from the the, the workflow the YAML file that I will show later that will eat, clean up the, the output for you, you to, to see easily. And it, it will also have a way for you to, to show it in the web UI. So you can easily feel from the VPN instant or anything. Uh, the second part of this media is uh, what I call workflow, which is a collection of YAML files that will describe your methodology. So it's a combination of, combination of paths and the, the strip and it's all written in YAML file. So it, you can run something in parallel and something in, uh, in serial uh, where you can 
add some condition, which is run this first and run it later. And this too is run the same at the same time and it's uh, run in order. So it's very flexible. Uh, here you can have a, a very quick look about the, the real structure of what the instance of us media look like. And I will talk more about it later. So yeah. Uh, so the binary, you already know it. So let me talk about why the workflow. Uh, let me talk more about the workflow. So the workflow is split in two main ways to run, which is you can run in the flow and a module. Uh, a module, let's say you want to do a vulnerability scan and you will scan with like jails and nuclei. And that is where you have a one module called vulnerability scan. And you have one module called subdomain scan, which is you, you uh, scan, you enumerate all the subdomain. Uh, and a flow would mean you can bundle uh, a lot of modules together. So you can run the subdomain first and the DNS result and a screenshot and um, vulnerability scan or either uh, uh, content discovery with the uh, MFUF or anything. So uh, you will what you provide to Smedias is uh, a target, which is can be anything from a uh, top level domain, from a UIL, IP, or CIDR, or a list of okay, So a list of, let's say a list of URL, list of IP, list of CIDR. Uh, anything it, it it depend on your workflow so yeah uh, but the so of the, the common input is uh TLD or CIDR uh what I didn't talk about is the staff uh which is the smallest part of the, the Asmeda's workflow which is actually you you will write the Unix command in it so I will show you later about about it uh here you, you will see the flow of, of the media working. So you will provide a target, then the core engine, they will look for which workflow you select, then it will generate it, uh, what I call routine, and it'll run from there. So then it will do finish. After the, the scan, while the, the, the scan is, is running, uh, which module is done, it will show the, 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 the output from the UI. So you can easily see why it's running. Uh, here is a symbol using uh, Osmeda. You can see here, you, you can achieve like the full, uh, the full uh, very common, recognition with one command. So you can have subdomain enumeration or uh, submit, uh, let me, let, by the way, let, let me bring up uh, a common community methodology where you guys can see what the basic command will do. So you can see here, which is one command, uh, the, the general workflow, which is a uh, default one, you will have uh, a subdomain enumeration, and you will have a cropping, which is resolving all the subdomains, the DNS of all the subdomain, and cropping for open HTTP host. And you have a slider, you have a screenshot. That way, then later you have a technology fingerprint, a subdomain scanner. Uh, you also have a uh, IP space model, which is the discovery that uh, with uh, AS number belong to to your organization. Then the most important one is vulnerability scan, which is using jails and nuclei because mm, it's one of the, the, the most popular one, but you can integrate anything in it. Then you have box scan and dust scan, which is uh, using uh, rust scan and nmap, which is, but I have a wrapper of it, so you can easily see the, the result. And 
in the US. Of course, is one of the the, the strongest one either. Uh, I also have a different workflow in the premium package. But I will talk more about it later. Okay, so uh, continue from here. It has here is some some more music for cloud scanning and some utility that I already follow in that. Uh, you can read more about it at the documentation part on the documentation uh, side. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, take a look about uh, the workflow. So the workflow, uh, we will break down the workflow in two parts, which is one is flow and one is module. So let's look about a flow first. A flow, which is also a YAML file, and it will describe that which module will run in that workflow. So you can see here, I have the workflow the, the flow in general, and it will run the subdomain first, and later dropping, which is result DNS, then to the next, then to this one. This one, it has four at the same time, four in, in one uh, section, which means it will run in parallel. And later this one, this one, this one, it will run in serial. So we'll look in detail what is a module look like. And here you can take a look at the subdomain module. It also written in YAML file. So here we, we have the name, description, um, information. So we have a report section, which is, it will show what, which file you want to show in the UI, uh, the, the web UI. So, when you run your model, it will generate a tons of files. You cannot show all of it in, in the, the web UI because it will make a lot of noise. So you can see like which file you want to, to show in, in, in the web UI too. And also, this is the file that we will detect, have to detect that it is the model is done or not when you run next time. So let's say you scan the target sample.com one time and you want to, to scan it a second time, but you don't want to scan the whole thing again. You can have a black prism. It will check this in the report section. If it's already found, then it will skip that model. Yeah. And next we have the rerun, which is the, the script that will run before anything run in, in the model. So create folder, which means it will create uh, the, the workspace folder in, in the, 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 the workspace, default workspace of Smita. So let's say you have uh, a target called sample.com, it will create dot uh, media slash workspace slash sample.com slash subdomain. We're putting uh, a sub, uh, folder like that for you to, to store the result. So on the script here, you can find in the documentation. So yeah. And all, on the script here, it will run in serial. So which means this done first and to the next, to the next, to the next. Uh, so now we have to uh, come to the, the step, which is the, I'll talk more about it later when I introduce the, the script first. So the script, which is uh, a shortcut for you to, to, to run specific tasks. Uh, let's say you want to do Unix. This file in, in Unix, you will run soft that's you, that all, that whole this file in Stay this part, which is take too long. You you can add a script here. It will automatically sort unique that that file. And I have ton of ton of uh, uh, utility script like that. For example, you can have a, a cleaning AMS, which is it will cleaning all the results for you and only keep the most important one, which is the the the, 
the, the, the supplement and I also have a uh, clean for mass DNS or for uh, nuclear or for my channels uh, too. So I have a lot of it. So I, I don't even like update the full list of here because it, it will uh, make some very noise. Uh, this one is the most important one is exact CMD, which is really literally run the, the Unix command. But why make a strip of it? Because in a strip, it will run in serial. So uh, one command you want to run in serial instead of parallel, so we'll put in a strip right here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I actually talked about the, the report tag before. So let's talk about a, a step in detail. So here we have uh, a step section, which is have multiple steps and each section here is one step. So let's talk about one, one step. So one step, we, we have a required part, which is you check if this file, they are exist before actually running the command. So if all these files exist, it will run the command. If all these files, they don't exist, then this section will be skipped. So in that case, you can do conditional, and uh, you have the command section, which is literally in Unix command. It will run all the, 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 the command in here in parallel. So it means this AMS and this GoBuster stuff file, it will run in, in, in parallel. And to the next, you have script, which is run in serial, and it will automatically clean up so the, 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 the output that you generate from, from this tool. And uh, I have some building that clean AMS and clean GoBuster, which is some of the, the old one that I did not use anymore. But I will show you the, 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 the latest version now. Uh, let me switch to sharing my entire screen. Okay, so uh, till up to now, we have seen how the configuration file and how uh, Osmedius works behind the scene, right? And right now we are seeing the config file of Osmedius yep. for subdomain enumeration. It is kind of look uh, similar to a uh, bash script. Like first we yes. make some files, uh, pre-files, and then we uh, integrate tools. We add uh, commands for those tools. And then the cleaning process of sorting and all that, right? In Osmedius, it's uh, yes. it's a particular context yes. for the particular. It's really yeah, exactly as uh, you have some some easy way to run in parallel, and you have some conditional function. And let me here. I have some. Uh, I have a, a general mm -hmm. uh, flow, which is a default one. And let's take a look at what a uh, subdomain module doing. So I open and, uh, uh, Can we also add our own tool, our own bash script and all those in this? Yes, of course you can add literally anything in it. So anything so, you can run in your terminal. Uh, you is it add it okay, so is, it is not necessary that it should be only the binary file, right? You can yes. Bash script also. Yeah, bash script, Python script, and anything you, you can put in in your terminal, you can put in here. Yeah. Okay. That's very really cool. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's take a look at uh, the param part, which is I did not talk about. The param part, which is used well specifically some of the, the thread, let's say the concurrency, and, and it later it will like to here, which is kind of the rendering thing. And here you can see the subdomain model and the, the report, which is I have this one and this one. Uh, this one is the is um, the list of the subdomain. Uh, all these tools will find. And the more, which means some of the tools that will generate the star dot subdomain.com and I will put in 
in, in the, the mall part where you can do the subdomain scan on it later, like two or three levels. Yeah. Uh, here, you can see I run three of these tool in parallel, which is why, because uh, AMAP will take a lot of resource and the uh, GitHub subdomain and the old URL, which is thought that the custom tool that my friend brought, which is it will pull some of the subdomain in the uh, web archive. And why I choose to run three tool in parallel because uh, it won't take a lot of resources. So because these two, it will only send requests. It won't take a lot of resources. And AMAX will take a lot of it. So um, I will put it run in parallel and it won't like make your, your machine too crazy. And I also put the uh, the timeout before AMAX because sometimes the uh, AMAX run is very long, but you don't want to to wait it like half a day and it, it, it won't finish. So that's I, I put the, the timeout before the command, so it will automatically to to, to kill that uh, command. But um, uh, what I put in the section here which is normally you will run the, the command like this. Uh, I say you scan was example.com, but you can also change the param in, in line to in like, which is you can change. I have a default value for two hours, but you can change it for four hours or five, six hours. And you can add multiple of it to, like, let's say you want a GitHub um, subdomain, it will run in two hours instead of one hour. So you can change it in inside your, your command too uh, without like uh, modify the, the, the YAML uh, workflow every time you run it. So that's the flexibility of it. Okay, so uh, next I have some other tools to, to run supplement innovation. And you may ask why I run a lot of tools because as I tested before, and so the tools, they, they, they use some of the other tools. So this is have something and the other have something. So better to do, to run all other all tools once again. In, in one, so yeah. But you can also easily add your tool in it. Let's say you have a tool called your tool here and just add, modify the, the YAML file and you're done, that easy, yeah. Okay, so uh, you have to the script, which is uh, you will unique some of the result you have here. Then you append it to the to the final file. Then I have this tool is uh, the utility for clean up some of the 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 the, the stuff. I mean, so you will have like uh, this kind of stuff. I mean, is some of the Bravo cloud provider they have it so. It will ultimately clean that. So, for example, you also have like something at the subdomain.com. It will clean up this to so only keep you the, the cleanest uh, output. But uh, if you want to keep it, just command it like here and it will won't clean up any junk data. But I would like to, to keep it clean. And next is I have my material, which is it will get subdomain from search.sa. So I won't talk more about it in here, but yeah, that's the, the, the main, uh, uh, what the subdomain module looks like. Okay. Uh, so next we have, uh, I already explained it, right? Okay, or explain parameter too. So you will you will see that some of the variable I have is storage instead of output. 
अच्छा what is what is what is the uh, apple apple is the it will start in in north Australia fast for for space and for example if your input is tesla.com then the output which is the output will be uh, entire folder like this and the storage the storage mean mean uh, a storage from the here uh, which is it will found some of the uh, git repo here and we will automatically push the, the result into that git repo so you uh, so next time you can you, you scan the target again it will push again but this second time it will show you why uh, what is add in it so you can easily see that hey this subdomain is new and which one is deleted but that a special feature i have for the premium package but you can if you don't have it and it will ignore it so don't worry for, for, for any error here so as it is the, 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 the I have for a premium package. Okay, uh, move to the next. Uh, so the storage feature is for the premium package, right? Yep, I will talk more about what mm -hmm. the difference between the, the premium package. Yep. Okay. okay. Okay, this one I already talked about, right? Okay, so the next part is the notification. Uh, notification is uh i support slack and telegram which is you can call easily call a screen to send the, 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 the content of that file to your uh configure uh telegram channel uh let's say i have a full scan model then when the result is is done, I will send the the, 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 the output of it, which is this file, to the channel that I already configured uh, in the config file. So it will show the, the report like this. So you can send any file in any message, but I already have a script for you to make your life a lot easier. So you don't have to use like uh, uh, CLI tools to, to send anything to, to, to send a file to, to your Slack or to your Discord. Mm, but I only support Telegram. So if you want to use Discord, you may, you, you can easily like uh, use a, uh, 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 exact come in here. Let, let's say you want to, to send this file to your Discord server. So you make your tool call uh, naughty to Discord. Then you just put right here and you it will send this file to your Discord server as, as your command right here. Yeah. So that the flexibility of, of um, uh, the, the the workflow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what we have next? Next, we also have a web UI, which is what you put in the final part here. It will show in, in the, the UI, so you can easily see without opening the the, 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 the terminal console. Uh, very useful when you are viewing from the VPS. Uh, I will have a live demo for it so, soon, so don't worry. Uh, next, let's talk about the premium package. Uh, let me zoom it a bit. So the premium package here. Oh wait, uh, should I zoom it right here, or I share the screen again? 
No, it's okay. Uh, if you want, you can. You can use uh, uh, so whatever suit you want. Uh, uh, I, I think, think so. Yeah, uh, one. yeah. Uh, I think so. You I should. Think, yeah. yeah. We got. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Because the screen of the <laughs> little the uh, font were very small, but so it might be difficult. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so next, let's talk about what is a premium package. So uh, I I offer a premium package in my patron so you can get it from from here on there or you can choose some of the donation method here and uh, what the premium package offer so first of all it will have some of my private workflow which is i tested in many sites uh, you can see that the, the, you, you see that the screen at the beginning is found a lot of security issue in some of the, the big auto is this using this workflow. And what the workflow look like, I, uh, I can show you here because it just, uh, yeah, just, it also have some of um, uh, similar to the community, but you will have a special model with uh, my friend, which is the tool that my friend used. It will uh, calculate the, the, the content structure of the HTML body. And with that, you can focus on screenshots so of the, 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 the important uh, access is rather than just my screenshot or thing, but let's say you scan from Google, then it will return like a tons of uh, supplement. So it will screenshot all of that, it will take a lot of time. So um, we throw this tool and this model, but it will return to like I say you have 10,000 supplement, it will only buy like 2,000 interesting supplement from that. And you can easily see some of the result from that uh, to, to not look all, but uh, I also store all the results so you can check if you want to. Uh, then later, I have a technology fingerprint. Uh, usually the technology fingerprint don't uh, precisely, precisely because you only fingerprint what from the the root uh, import right here, and this is the tools that my friend also roll, and it will spider the the the, the side a bit. So let's say it will check the content from here, and also spider some of the content in, in that side, and detect the the technology inside that sub directory to sub pattern. Yeah. Uh, you know, I also have a, a supplement takeover model, uh, which is, uh, I have some uh, special, uh, um, special signature that you check for that. And uh, uh, the, the vulnerability scheme, which is, you won't see some of the, my some of my public signature or jails in there. So uh, that's why I, uh, I can find some of the uh, vulnerability that um, that uh, that novel the the public one won't have. But uh, in premium package, you will have that. Yeah. Uh, the next difference is the directory scan which is my friend also mod the, 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 the UF mod, uh, which, which is, we also calculate uh, the content structure of the site. Then we filtering out like, some of the, the junk output. So let's say you you, you scan a, uh, a site, uh, you, you do a directory scan on it, and we'll return a ton of 200, but it's actually uh, a fall for bank. And, it will keep changing because, because 
they have four four base. They have a custom custom message. It will it will reflect the the path and you scan. So it will return it will return a ton of junk right there. And my friend roll a uh, a tone first. It will ultimately trip out some of those uh, noise output. So you can have a very clean output, but also a very accurate one. So yeah, you can trust it uh, on that because it. It, it tests it on many, many sites. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what next? So next, you also have the the workplace, which is I use for directory scan that I collect from many, many and with from many reports. So you can also check from there. Uh, so private third party tool which is the, this one, uh, this one, yeah. Uh, my private jail signature, which is um, I have in here. Yeah. It is totally different than the one that you see in public. Yeah. You can trust it in that. And next, you also have that file distributed scan, uh, which is you can you can spin up a lot of um, cloud and stuff and you actually spit up the, the scan from there so you remember you remember the tool called ASA and there will do exactly the same but with the flexibility of another workflow in a speed so in ASA you will do a very simple model, but in a speed that you can do an entire workflow and an entire model in it, and it written in in going. Uh, but the beauty of it is the premium package and the public community is using the same core engine, which is using the same source code. Uh, what 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 is what does that mean? Which means it's also have the file distributed scan, but I won't leave the config file in there. So if you manage to reverse engineer the, the, the source code, you will earn it. Yeah. So you need some uh, drawing knowledge, but I will leave for some of the JS mine out there. All right. The methodology that I talked about. Uh, so what is the, the distributed scan is actually do is it will take your target then select the workflow. It will create the, the client instance and it will put your input in that instance and it run a scan. After the scan done, it will sync the result back to your master machine and delete that instance. Uh, I remember it's totally different from ASM. Uh, let's say ASM, you, you, you create an instance and you leave it there and you scan like that. In Asmias, you will create the instance. Uh, when the scan is done, it's sync back the result to, to the, the, the master machine and it will delete that instance. So you don't have to worry about the like, cost of keep the, the instance running. And I also have uh, a, a built-in retry mechanism. So in case your cloud provider, like they have some trade limit or some network issue, it will also ultimately, ultimately retry. So you don't have to, to worry about that. Yeah. Okay, you have some demo command, which is uh, I scan a while back there, I remember from security trails uh, recon. Yeah. Uh, using here, I have that C5, which is concurrent C5, and it will actually spin up five instant here to just gain the list of info. Uh, here I have a horizontal scan. So this one you will scan for entire flow, but with this thing, with this feature, you will you can scan for 
specifically uh, module within you, you can easily write a symbol let's say like three or four uh comments and you want to, to run on a very large list of, of input and you can create right here uh the fast next jump come in which is uh using when you have a very big input and you will uh split up your, your input to many parts to, to scale as I, I have here is fast in three which means it will split my input to, to three parts and it will run in pre pre uh cloud instance here yeah uh here i have the link for the video demo uh for you to to, to see later but in, i will have some live demo later uh some plain feature is of course it's more exclusive feature and for the premium budget and um, uh, make more make some of the, the experimental feature become more stable and integrate it with more other tools so if you have any tools any public tool or private one that uh really shy in which model then you can recommend to me then i, I can add to the, the workflow uh yeah and uh, i also have a tutorial for and for provider for cloud distributed scan so i have a lot of people recommend me to, to the ad, AWS provider but i really don't have that place so sorry yeah. And finally, is I have more documentation because uh, I'm just a, a one member direction, so I would try to, to to write more in the document page in here. So yeah, please keep in mind. And, uh, uh, you can also contribute to the, the documentation too if you want. But in that time, just uh, be patient. Yeah. Okay, so if you like tools and you want to support me and get the premium package, you can go to docs.smedias.org slash donation or ping me at Jesse JJJ. Sure. Or if you are a crypto guy and I have some donation paid right here. Okay. Oh, so uh, okay. uh, I have a few questions. Uh, some people also uh, told me to ask. <laughs> so I yep. have, so first question is, uh, how do you manage your personal life and bug bounty life and this developer life? <laughs> uh, my stable, uh, first of all, I have a stable job, which is I get from nine to five. And later that I do some bug bounties and developer de developing thing. So then I have, uh, and then I realize I don't have much time. So I only focus on developing. So I do my tools to do some of my hunting. So most of, like I was saying, ninety percent of my uh, bug bounty it will come from from my uh, my tools. Oh, that's really cool. So how much time did it take uh, uh, for you to build Osmedius? Um, I think it is, uh, build it is, mm, I think, uh, one month after the, the, the jail scanner. Mm -hmm. And but I built it very long time ago and I only published it in, in this year. And I used it very long time ago. But the, the, the tricky part is finding which tools do the job the best to yes. put it in your workflow. Uh, yeah, because the, 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 the core logic, uh, it won't change a lot. And I only change when I see that uh, this can be done by a simple path script that I will write mm -hmm. a, a Golang function in it and it will bind it to the, the script. So you can call from, the, you can, which is you, you can call the Golang function from a YAML mm -hmm. file. And that's actually oh. very powerful. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> that's like yeah. kind of advanced stuff in <laughs> Colin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, then, so uh, um, any, yeah. Uh, yeah, anything else? Any questions? So there are lots of questions I am going to ask you. Uh, yeah. We'll be bombing with question you right now. <laughs> so the another question is, uh, out of all your bugs, okay, which you have found mm. via automation or manual, which one is your favorite one? No. Uh, I actually okay. have like two methodology, which is mm -hmm. the automation is using my tools and I only do in accounting and manual work I only do for my my mm -hmm. my daily job. So I actually only do manual tests when I test for my company. <laughs> not not yeah. much in, in bug bounty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, another question is uh oh, what do you do? Like uh, recently you were on a vacation. So like when you are not hacking, what do you do? Mm. Uh, I watch a lot of movies and <laughs> yeah. uh, recent one. <laughs> the <names. laughs> yeah. uh, so the recent one is uh, the Batman. It's also very good. Uh, yeah. Dune, wow. which is very good yeah. too. Dune. Yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah. So, and I watch a lot of tv series too so mm -hmm. you know mr robot making yes bad, uh, I did and better call of songs yeah order yeah i watch a lot yeah okay. that i spend some of my free time yeah okay uh another question is uh what do you uh, do to keep yourself updated with the uh, new trends and new uh, news and all those things coming in the community mm, the easiest part is using Twitter and yes, I keep exactly. taking like the Twitter feed uh, from day to day to, to see some mm -hmm. of the latest vulnerability or some of the, the when I say uh, a new tool come out that I see is very fit to the uh, workflow the post media workflow that I can add in here yeah mm -hmm. and yeah. So, uh, do you try to uh, create your own uh, POC if the uh, exploit is not public yet for any CV that you have found? Do you ever try? Yes. Uh, yeah, I try in the past mm -hmm. too for my channel scanner and mm -hmm. uh, have some success too. Oh, but recently, I don't good. have much time for it since I have mm -hmm. I'm taking a, a new role for my company, so I won't have much time oh, for that. Yeah. But I will also do from mm -hmm. time to time, mm -hmm. but I would not call it a, a, a zero day because mm -hmm. I usually look for misconfiguration rather than just a, a vulnerability. Yeah. Okay. So uh, another question is, uh, uh, which was it? Okay. So uh, if you got a chance to hack with any hacker in the community, which one would you pick to hack or collaborate with? Any one hacker? Uh, hacker. I will, it is it's very hard to pick, I, but I think mm -hmm. I will pick uh, Naham Say because he is one of yeah. the, the popular content creator. So I think mm -hmm. I can show some of my tools in there. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And I also have some of my. Um, College in in Vietnam too. I really love to to hack with. Yeah. Oh, nice. And uh, another question is, uh, uh, what are you? What are your future plans? And uh, what are you learning right now? Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm currently learning web three, so I might switch okay. to the industry in in a couple of next year. So who knows? Yeah, and also <laughs> so, I, I also uh, have some plan feature for Force Media. Yeah. So, are you uh, thinking to build any module for the Web three part as well for in the Os Media? Uh, uh, I'm still that. thinking that, but I didn't have. Uh, I didn't see it fit any place in there. Maybe a new tool, but I. Oh. I'm still learning, so can't say for sure. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. So uh, this is our last question, uh, which mm. I ask almost everyone who comes on the channel. Like, what is mm. your one tip you would give to a beginner or anyone in general, not just related to the technical stuff in general life? Mm. It can be technical, uh, but anything that you would give one tip. Uh, well, so the, well, well, I, I did not get the question. So what I want to yeah. do? No, no, means what uh, general tip you would give to any beginner or any person beginner, yeah. right now? Yeah. Uh, I would say start from the very basic one first. And mm -hmm. if you want to hack, let's say you want to hack something or you want to create something, you firstly have to understand about it first. So you don't get overwhelmed about what the pro is doing. Uh, mm -hmm. and to be scared about it, it, it will take time because some yeah. of the pro, it they will start from the, the, the they also start from the beginner too. So you may be become expert by the time you go. Yeah. So no yeah, worry on exactly. that. Keep learning. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, also, uh, what would uh, sorry for asking this question again. Like, uh, yeah. I told you that was the final one, but this is the final last one. Okay. So, uh, what mm. tip would you give to someone who wants to build his own automation? Someone like mm. <laughs> so, like, I would say pick one of your strongest language. I think you know Python the most. Then pick that. Then uh, the easiest one right now is take some of the idea from the popular one and see what they missed then you can improve from from there yeah i don't think that's the, the one yeah that's it i guess so we can wrap up now and thank you so much mm -hmm. for being with us on this channel uh wait uh, i yeah. think i i will show how to write uh, a customer okay okay workflow. okay sorry sorry oh. sorry Okay, okay. For some of my okay. users, because they ask me a lot that, hey, your uh -huh. workflow is very hard to understand. Uh, how do oh, okay. I write it? How do I write it myself? So, yeah, I prepare some of the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the auto written and simple one than the, mm -hmm. than the one that I have in, in the default one when you install the, the tool you will have. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Let's say here is some of the input that I put randomly from the internet. So uh, first of all, you uh, first of all you you can start writing your model with uh, the dash m flag first. So you you only write one YAML file instead of write one of YAML file. So it will take a lot more easier. So, uh, here I write this for vulnerability scan. Which is, uh, mm, it will take the input as a file. And what is a file? Uh, what, what is this file content? It will have the IP and the part and with, with the, 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 the con here. Then uh, you will have some fun here for showing in the UI, but uh, let's skip it for now. Uh, first of all, you will want to wrapping. So uh, wrapping the, the, the input first to convert it to the, the UI uh, format like this. And you will write it in the comment here. Oh, I actually have a, a typo here. So first of all, you will check if the input file exists. Uh, the input, uh, I didn't talk about what is the, 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 uh, the variable here. So variable is mean, is mean, is mean when you run the command with that C right here. So this, this is the target. So, uh, so this actually means the target. So, uh, yeah, and this when 
the tools running, it will convert it to this. So uh, this is a, when it's running, it will convert it to right uh, right here. Uh, here and here. So it, it is similar when you run a Unix command. Yeah. And you might see this from time to time. What is the binary? Binary, which is the pointer that I put some of the binary in there for you to, to easily to, to call. But if you're, you already installed the tool from your VPS, so you can skip that part because I want a centralized place to storing all, all the, the binary. Oh, but you can literally write right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, later that, I will apply it to the file right here. And what is this file? And it will, when it's running, this will replace to here. So this will apply right here. Then you will have this file for all the, 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 the the HTTP file. So I actually already running for you to 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 save your time. So I, I already running the command for you. Uh, let's check if yep already here. So let's see what the input of it. You can see here is, is what the output actually. Oh, there is a different, uh, different module. Mm -hmm. I will need to hide something. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, this is some of the junk uh, IP address, so you don't have to worry okay. Okay. about. Yeah, clicking anything. Uh, I literally pulls from shoulder. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. Uh, yep. Uh, so this one is I think from C I D R. Oh. Uh, let's run it again to to see. In real life too. So, uh, yeah. What did I? Okay, let, let me control Z to, to return back to normal. Then I sing back to my machine. Let's create a team up because mm, you don't know why, uh, when is you, you got this connection. Oh, it's on. To demo. Okay, let's play now. So I think back to my module in here. So you will run the scan right here. Uh, you can literally select the module in uh, 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 exactly path to. So you can go right here, path right here, and that's the mean the input part, which is also in that folder. Um, so yeah, uh, the input is can be anything, but it depends on your work workflow. So in this case, I expect the input is right here. Uh, if your input is right here, it's also okay. But if your input is like a CIDR like this, and it won't work. So it's very dependent on, on your, um, your, your workflow. But uh, as I said, I already write a ton of uh, predefined, predefined workflow for you so you can start uh, using without writing anything. But the beauty of it is, is you can uh, write your own 
organization system. So you, you can pretty much write anything right out and just rely on my workflow. Yeah. You can see here I have a ton of uh, input format you can copy from. So the, the easiest way to write uh, the workflow, which is copy my workflow and add your tool in it. Uh, by the way, let me let you run, run the, the scan. Okay, it already worked. Uh, I think it will take a couple of minutes and let's see what the next uh, in this step. So this step, it will take this far and run the jail scam in here. Uh, let me so. Yep. Uh, you can see it will replace the, the thread right here. Why I want to to place the thread right here because uh, you can see the command I run in here. But sometime in the future, you want to 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 to, to speed up your your scan so you can do right here like print the following one hundred you can do two hundred right here or in the nucleus scan. Uh, right here, the default is 200, you can split it to 300, yeah, as many you want. So the param here, which is you, you can change dynamic, yeah, rather than just uh, you write 100 here and you, you can change it um, in light of you have to open the YAML file and manually uh, edit it. So that won't flexible, yeah, this, this provides you that. Um, you you may ask why why I run the the jail scan twice because I have a, a special model which is it uh is kind of do the territory scan but it will look for the different part of the response so it will uh um scan for 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 secret file. Uh, let me show you one quick little file that I have. For the while wait waiting for for this running uh secret. Okay, I have here one file. Oops. I have here is uh the, the private jail signature that I saw about uh which is first of all it will uh do a request for uh for, for page first and it will saw it in 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 a it will calculate that a structure of, of that page and later on later on it will scan all of this pack so this path is I feel from the BigQuery, Google BigQuery. So have a ton of it. So then it scan in this and it will do it will call div right here, which is um, the, the content structure is different and it will show you if that path is uh worth to look at. Yeah. Uh, Yep, that's, that's the beauty of um, private signature. Yep. Okay, uh, let's have more. So when the, the scan in the command is done, it will run in the script. So you can see I actually run the Unix command again, but why I put in the exact CMD, which is, it is the script I can put it in another spec section right here. But if I put in that, then I won't have the, 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 the same requirement. So I have to copy the requirement right here. So I don't want to do that twice. That's why I want to do it in, in the script right here, right here. Yep. I want to do the script right here and it will run in zero. So it will run this here, this here. And you may want to 
one is like the cat. The cat is literally I uh, I get the idea from the cat command. It will cat this part and show it to 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 your terminal console. So, so module you might want to check uh, in line output. So that I provide the, the cat because in default it won't show any output. To, 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 to keep your your terminal clean, but if you nuclear uh, scan, yep. Uh, let me show you the web UI too. Uh, you can see I have a special script which is uh, generate uh, uh, the HTML report from the nuclear scan. Um, all right. Uh, Uh, there is uh, okay. So continue. So uh, the web UI is running on HTTPS. Uh, so a lot of people running on HTTP and they ask me, hey, why the web UI won't show up? It's on HTTPS. So it, it is a cell size certificate. So you have to, uh, to 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 click to advance and proceed. Okay, so you will check the secret here. Uh, did not actually the secret because mm, this server I will delete after the recording, but you will find your password in uh, your web UI password in this config file. Uh, right here. So I do. Uh, I don't need to hide this out, is it? Yep. Yep. Sorry, you don't need to to hide it. Okay, okay, so it will be out removed. Okay, yep. okay, in right here. Uh, uh, another question I get asked a lot is where I can add my GitHub API key or my, 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 my Shodan API key, and the answer is from the data folder, which is uh, from uh, as we just that day, data config, and it will have the, the AMS config here. So uh, your show them key and anything that AMS have, you will need to uh, modify from there. Uh, GitHub API key, it will start in this file. So in this, and it will, uh, it will ultimately be used by Pios Media. Uh, you, you will have to, to run the reload again to, um, to actually load this uh, variable to the domain config file. Yeah. Uh, also, so, the, the uh, you, so like citing all the yep. APIs key again, we have to run that reload command, right? Yeah, you have to run the reload command if okay. you change the, the RC file here. For the AMS, mm -hmm. you don't have to do that. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, here I have some. Variable for for the Telegram notification. So this is the, the channel ID. So you create your channel and put your channel ID in here. So when the scan runs, it will send it to, to that channel. But you also need the Telegram ABI here. So put so you put your ABI here and the channel ID here. It will uh, same the 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 the, the notification uh, to to your telegram channel. Yep. Okay, I see the web UI ready. Okay, here is some the the um, the work space that I already scanned. So uh, let's take a look at the uh, UI. Uh, can you can you enlarge that window if possible? And can I watch? Uh, can you enlarge that uh, Chrome window? 
the one which and can, what? Uh, can you just uh, increase the size of that? Increase the size. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so we have here the wasp bay, which is I have some of the wasp bay and uh, I already scanned to, to save your time. I scanned some of the public uh, pop out here because it is scanned by a lot of people and you won't find any vulnerability in it, hopefully. Uh, you can see, let, let's check out uh, the Tesla model. Uh, uh, the Tesla was made. So, <laughs> I like that. Hopefully, <laughs> we don't find. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. because yeah, it, it is a public um one of public uh, policy program. So um, you can see here the subdomain subdomain folder subdomain model, and the report part is have uh, only have this file. And in the UI, it's only show this file. No. Uh, this file, it won't show because it won't fire anything. So it, it will show when the content of it is, uh, have the file is access. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me show you what is the nuclear report. Uh, this one is the nucleic report, so which is from URL. Uh, what the URL? Okay, the URL flow here, which is scan the wall scan, uh, the, the, the wall scan, the full scan here. And you can see I uh, run the screen here. Let's see what the link will find. Yep. Oh, it show right here. Uh, here is the raw file. You can check from JSON. So you might notice, hey, uh, why is this file required authenticated or not? Uh, the answer is not. It has a very long prefix here, so which means I allow you to actually download this file without uh, authentication, uh, but just have a very long prefix here. Uh, it's stored in the, the config file, unless you know this one, and you won't be able to, to, to see the file without authentication. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you can easily copy this URL and then you get to, to your home machine. So that's why you can get uh, da, 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 da. Mm, the output from your VPN. But I also have a uh, flag to turn it on if you don't want to. You know, by default, it will turn off. So just keep that in mind. Uh, yep. Uh, I already showed you this report, right? right. Uh, yep. So here from this JSON file, and it's convert to this uh, HTML file for you to easily see. Uh, here is the JLS report, uh, JLS uh, HTML report for you to, to see too. This is uh, the text file. Uh, another question I get asked a lot is why my directory scan is not showing the result because I ultimately strip all the chunk data for you. So it only show what, uh, what the tools see interesting. So it, all the result you can see here is totally different. It won't have the same, uh, what I call a uh, same structure. So you you will see when when you use the tool. Yeah, <laughs> that that the easiest way to, to say. So here I have a, a URL in the status contain and another content lane and uh, three direct path to. Yeah. Uh, what else I can show? Uh, here yeah, also show the, the, the I also use the, the Avaton uh, tool to, to do screenshot, but 
I also use my custom tool to do to, 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 to screenshot too, because when you scan a very big target, the Amazon will look crap because it takes a lot of more RAM to 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 take a look what is that a similar file, and that a similar page content. So I have a tool for that to to take screenshot without taking anything. So it won't panic if your, 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 uh, your input is too large. But I won't see it in here. Uh, this is also our one. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It's also our one. Uh, uh, I saw another one thing, which is the CIDR one. Uh, so when you do the NMAX scan, this is the raw result you will see. But as you can see, it's not like all the time, like very beautiful. Uh, so I have, oops, uh, I didn't see it here. Uh, I have a, which I have a file to beautify it, but somehow it won't show in the UI. So uh, you can see here from the in my app output uh, right here. Let me show. Okay, so you can see from the in my app output right here it will cover up to right here so you can easy to to to, to see uh, what subject what what part and what so what subject is opening so when you see you want to check uh, this ib and you come back to, to see the raw result from mf you can easily search right here yeah mm -hmm. that is the, oh, the main uh, reason i i keep so is it all. a full scan full uh port scan yes Yes, it is the, the full box scan. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, while waiting for, for this vulnerability scan, I will walk you guys through what is the the, 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 the box scan does in a media. So the workflow box scan, uh, the flow box scan I have here, which is box scan for the end and then the scan. Uh, so the, the, the other like not mandatory field uh, we have a validator which is it will do the check if your input is actually match uh, the, the format but you uh, you can skip it entirely I just do it for uh, for, for safety to, to, to check if my input is actually match the uh, the the format first and before I actually run uh, the, the scan. Uh, this is you only see in the flow mode, the, the flow file, and this is actually the um, the folder name, and you can see here uh, the folder name. It will match uh, the folder here. Then the module in that flow will look for the YAML file in that corner. So you would run the box scan and the time in here. So this will actually look for the box scan model file here. So let's see what the box scan, box scan does. Uh, you will uh, firstly run the, the Rust scan. Mm, with a uh, bunch of flag right here. I already tested and so this that is why you won't want it to run this box scan on your local machine because your network won't, won't take it uh, take it easily. So you might want to run it on your VBS. If you want to run on your local machine, I recommend you can to change the rate of rust scan here to much lower. Uh, 
Let me show. Let me show in, in two side right here. What is missing? Okay, so uh, first of all, you will run the the Rust scan, and what the Rust scan does, it will scan the spark and will return the output right here. And I run for full sixty five k part, and will return the output right here. Then I have a script which is clean Rust scan, and you'll call uh, a script right here with input is the raw output from Rust scan. And the second parameter is the output of, of, of cleaning, uh, cleaning box. What is the link cleaning one, which is, it have uh, IP and box in here. So you can easily pipe it to uh, HTTP prop tools. Uh, the reason why I use HTTP prop because uh, as I test uh, with some other tool, let's say uh, HTTP X and all air prop from my friend, and it won't it won't show the accurate result for uncommon prop. So it will show only the right the the one hundred percent accurate for four four three. Or eighty, so that's why I use the graph for this part. Uh, later that I will use the Metabigo tool to to do the nmax scan based on based on the output. So it will do the nmax scan right here, uh, then return return the raw input of NMAX scan, run of NMAX scan right here, then it will also generate the beautiful input right, uh, the app, beautiful output right here. So you can check both in raw format and also in beautiful format for you to, to, to have an overview. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that that's uh, all I have for, for the customized module. I'm not sure why. Yep. Uh, uh, for the rest, I recommend you to check on that documentation here. I have some. I have some some level for you to to customize your workflow from easy to to like expert to the, the tool. So the easiest way for you to customize the workflow is changing the param param par, param section in the YAML file. You can change the the, the work list or the thread of the the tools inside of the YAML file, and uh, you can fork the entire community workflow, and you put the custom model in there. You run this command, or you can also add the new tool to the existing um, existing workflow. Yeah. Uh, yep. That's all I have for how to customize your workflow. So hopefully you, you will have your, your special workflow built with a speed desk right there. Yeah. Uh, great. Okay, so we can say that Osmedias is uh, uh, full of pack of powerful tools which perform um, mm many offensive security stuff it's an yeah. advanced so is <laughs> yeah is main purpose is build the foundation for you to easily add your mm -hmm. your 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 automate the um, workflow yeah yeah automate the workflow yeah 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 uh yep. oh, that's, um, 
all I have for today. So all the, the things that I saw, uh, you can find from the documentation here. Yeah. OK. okay. Uh, so uh, okay. guys, also, Jesse has the Discord channel of the uh, Osmedia's official channel. Yeah. So uh, if you have any here. queries, yeah. So we can contact you there, right? On the Discord channel. Yeah, you can contact me there. And I also have a FAQ page, which is, I put a lot of questions that you guys ask me like every week, every day, uh, every time you're using it. So I put mm -hmm. it all in, in the description. You please check this first before you, you ask anything. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Okay, so anything else uh, we are left out with? Mm, no, not right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then we should, uh, I think so, we should wrap it up. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you once again. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for us. your time. And... Yes, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay.